What's up guys? Today is gonna be a kind of a cool day just because I'm going somewhere that I would suggest you guys trying this method too. If if you're like me and you kind of like grew up around the same town or same area and you always find yourself going to the same spots and then it gets overfished and you know you like trying new things. So I Google mapped bodies of water around me and I found this little hidden gem which I never see people going into and I'm about to pull in there right now. So it's a decent sized looking pond. There's a lot of vegetation and coverage around the pond and when I Google mapped it I saw some some weeds and algae so you know the nutrients are there for the fish. I just hope the fish are there. And I have a couple of different new lures that I want to try out. Well, not lures, but a couple new Sankos that I want to try out. Let's uh, see if we catch anything good, guys. All right, guys, I got my Sanko bag. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sketched out because I didn't realize it was all blocked off and there's just a path right here. Let's do this quick while we still have some sunlight. There is a trail. And... And voila. First time at this fishing spot, guys. It looks gorgeous, honestly. It looks really nice. Looks like there's another fishing spot right there. And it goes all the way to the back. I've lived around this area for like my entire life. And I've never been here. It's kind of insane thinking. Right now, if you guys can see, I have on this um, Yum Sanko right here. Has like a little neon tail. Let's see how the first cast is like. I honestly don't know if too many people come in here. It looks like a very nice area, but not if it's your first time by yourself. <laughs> Bird's nest. What? I'm already starting to feel a couple of uh, bugs coming around. <laughs> right now, I'm using the five inch Gary Yamamoto uh, Yamasenko. It's like a dark greenish. Um, Sanko with green, purple, and a little bit of pinkish red flakes. Right there. You know, once I got past the whole newness of this area, it was just, I just had like a very refreshing thought that it's, you know, it's really nice that I stopped doing things to please others and to do things for myself and stopped being so nice and waiting around for everybody else I would have never been here so I'm glad I've been doing that for quite a while now all right so now this is that green and purple Yama, uh, Yamasenko it's a five inch so just casting it straight out there's this little field field goal post looking thing but guys I don't know if you guys can see that 
But right here, there are lilies beyond this branch right here. Lilies, and then it kind of turns, and I'm wondering if it, if it opens back up around that little corner area. But I am hearing action. And like I was telling you guys before, you can definitely see that there are many great spots to, you know, to fish here. It just looks like a very nice area. Am I right or not? Like, maybe it's because I'm just so used to seeing the same type of scenery all the time when it comes to fishing in freshwater that when, when you see something like this and it's in your, around your hometown and you've just never seen it before. It's just different. I don't know how to explain that, but I think that's the best way I can. Um, just a lot more opportunity and just another spot to, just like another spot to fish. It's kind of, it's incredible just to, you know, kind of explore a spot and map it out and go check it out and, you know, cool you, you're learning something new you're finding out new spots and now this is another option in the books when you go fishing so hmm. like I said it is a beautiful area I wish I can kind of wrap around and see what else is out there like the, any other fishing spots any type of landscapes drop-offs Things like that. That was a decent cast getting it out there. Get fix my pack. Oh. Yeah, see, so kind of tough for me to gauge the depth all the way out there, especially it's my, since it's my first time here. But I can't stress enough how gorgeous it looks. And right beyond those weeds that kind of cross from shore to shore right beyond that in that little body of water that has a little opening is where I saw that fish jump well I heard it jump but then I saw on the retrieve oh, oh no 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 god no god please no 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 see the bad fisherman in me wants to cast at an angle to get it to like kind of like if you guys like if you guys ever played golf and if you're righty it's like a draw play a draw to the left of that post along that shoreline right there and just land it to the right of that hanging dead tree and get in that spot over there but what would be sensible is if I were to just walk around and go to that spot and cast Nah. I just find it so hard to believe. I just picture there being like massive bass here. Just because, I mean, if I didn't know about this fishing spot, I'm not saying I know every single fishing spot around my area better than anybody, but chances are if I know about it, it's a pretty common spot so I mean it's I don't know what I'm trying to say but I just feel like I have high hopes for big bass in this type of area as you can see th there's not too many buildings around you know so it's I mean the like accessibility to this place you wouldn't really know unless if you did map it do a little bit of research and exploring because it's not like out in the open if you know what I'm saying or if that makes any sense so all right guys that was my last cast I just casted it out to the right maybe one o'clock from this view right where my rod is pointing no, no luck except for that one small bass. Did, did, did that count, guys? Did it count? Let me know down in the comments if that counts as a fish. 
because it was on shore. So I think it should count a little bit, at least half a point. Definitely need the waders to get across. Can't believe that fish jumped over here. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and let me know if that did count as a fish. It's a tiny fish. I hope it was on camera because when I go and edit this, I hope to see it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was a great new spot. I know what to expect a little bit more now when fishing here. Next time I'll do a little bit more exploring, but it's a great thing that I could stress to you guys is really go out there and try something new, try new places, try new things all the time to always get better and improve. And you know, you'll learn a lot about yourself and even the smallest thing like finding a new fishing spot will teach you that lesson. So not the best of luck here but i still have my hopes up and i still like this spot so thank you guys so much for watching fishing adventure all right fuck well, that i think that was a wolf okie dokie all right guys thank you so much for joining me in another fishing adventure series i hope to see you guys in the next one so yeah signing off peace